they look like monkey arms, but they're actually a lot shorter than the average person. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and this is Birch and Lily, where I talk about all of the crafty goodness that I've been up to over the past couple weeks. Today is October 10th, 2022, and I have an episode full of lots of fun knitting for you today. A couple announcements before we jump on in. First of all, I'm trying out a new mic today. I'm switching back to like a, a clip on one. I don't particularly love how they look, <laughs> um, but I'm hoping the sound's going to be a little bit, well, I don't know. We'll see. Um, I haven't had tons of issue with my sound before but I'm just curious if it's going to be a little clearer so we'll see what happens with that as well um, I guess we'll say the places you can find me on the internet and then I'll jump into my second announcement um, but you can find me at birchandlilyfiber.com you can also find me on instagram at birch.and.lily and everything else will be linked down below in the description um, but as for the website I have switched um, what's the word I'm looking for hosts, website hosts, um, or platform hosts, I have moved the website over to Shopify. So to celebrate that, everything in the shop is currently 25% off. I don't know when I'm going to end the sale. <laughs> I was like, yay, sale, and then didn't think about that. So I'm going to say maybe a week and we'll go with that. <laughs> um, but everything, like I said, at virtualilyfiber.com is on sale for 25% off to celebrate the new website. I'd love if you go check it out. Um, I think everything's gonna be a lot better and more streamlined for all of you. So yeah, really excited about that. Um, but I try to keep these intros not too long because who likes a long intro? Not me. <laughs> um, so let's jump on in to what I have been working on. I have one finished object. Now, I'm not allowed to fully show this finished object. So we'll show this little foldy pile here. I guess this would be a good test of, yep, it's focusing. Because <laughs> we know I always have focusing issues too. So I did finish my Searchlight Reglan. This is a pattern I am testing or tested for Autumn and Indigo. It's coming out sometime around October 17th. That was our due date. Um, so when I do know that information, I'll make sure to let you know. Um, and I'll probably wear it next episode so you can see what it looks like all finished up because by next episode in two weeks, I will be able to share this for sure. Um, but yeah, I knit this out of yarn. This is from Explore Knits and Fibers. It's their Rockies DK base and the colorway is Dreamsicle. I don't think I have it with me, but I literally played the biggest game of yarn chicken ever and I had like that much yarn left, like none. Um, and that was with me shortening the sleeves a little bit even because I have itty bitty tiny little, well, no, not really. They look like, <laughs> they look like monkey arms, but they're actually a lot shorter than the average person. I don't know. Anyways, I have little arms, so I did shorten the sleeves a little bit on this. But otherwise, yeah, I was, I was cutting it close. Granted, I was also cutting it close when I chose that yarn in the first place. I think the pattern said, 1,020 yards, and I think I had 1,090. So I was cutting it close in the first place. But we finished, it's blocked, just needs to be photographed. I need to get my butt in gear and do that. I have to photograph that and my hemlock sweater still. Um, so I need to get my bum in gear, especially now that the weather has cooled down. It's a lot more fun to photograph stuff because I'm not sweating. So gotta do that. But yeah, I will have more information for you on the searchlight once it releases, um, and I'm given permission to do so. So keep an eye out for that. It's a beautiful sweater, very simple, but the cables on it make it so pretty. So yeah, okay. That's all I have for finished objects. Let's move into whips. I have two new cast, three new cast ons actually. Yeah, okay, three, cool. So we will start off with, okay, first of all, look at this little bag. Oh. What do you see, Leia? Look at how adorable this little bag is. Knitting in the mitten. I've been eyeing this bag up for ages and I finally bit the bullet and purchased it and I'm so glad I did. The canvas quality is really, really nice and it's got a nice leather handle as well. I don't know if there's a tag inside of it that says who made it. That's disappointing. 
Um, I think I tagged it on my Instagram. So if you're interested on who made this, check my Instagram. There's a post with this bag in it. And I'm pretty sure I tagged who made said bag there. Um, but the pattern that I'm working on is the Lakes Pullover. This is a new pattern that's going to be coming soon from Ozetta because we know I just test knit everything under the sun now. Um, and I am using some really affordable and wonderful yarn. This is, where's my little tag? Here's the color. It's very pretty. This is a worsted weight yarn. I would say it's a light worsted weight though, um, yardage wise. Yeah, you get about, so these only come in 50 grams, um, but if you converted it to a typical 100 gram skein of yarn, it would be about 250 yards. So definitely a lighter worsted weight. It says it's 100% fine Highland wool. So this is from Blue Sky Fibers and it's their wool stock worsted base. And I really, really like it. This colorway is called Lilac Bloom. So it's a little bit, I think it, I would call it a mauve more than anything in my opinion. Um, but I had to purchase, well, it's very reasonably priced. I think I paid nine dollars a skein um which is not that much for the amount of yarn quite reasonable in my opinion um but i had to buy 13 of them i think so i may have uh emptied out my local yarn store to get enough but they had enough so i am good to go so i don't really have much done on this this is ridiculous looking because this is a saddle shoulder construction um, I don't know if you remember my Gaia pullover that I knit, or Gaia sweater, I think it was called a sweater, um, that I knit, oh gosh, in like July. Um, that was the exact well, similar construction. So basically what you're seeing here, this section, is the back of the neck. So this will sit like this. And then these panels here are called saddles, and that's kind of what sits on the top of your shoulder. So, so ugh. the one thing I don't like about these mics too is I don't want to hit it because then I know it's going to ruin my footage and then I'm either going to have to crop something out or re-record it. Um, but it sits then on your shoulder as such. And then it obviously has, ooh, there's a little black fuzz, a quite dropped shoulder for said garment. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's all I have done. Not very much, um, but I'm going to keep going on this. Um, I have all the short rows done for the back of the body, which is really nice. Um, and then, not that I talk about needle size really anymore, but I have to say, I must knit so loose. Because, like, what does this pattern call for, for a needle size? For the main body needle... calls for a five millimeter US size eight needle. And I had to drop down to a 3.25 millimeter, which is US three. So I am starting to learn I knit really loose, which is interesting because I knit really loose for garments, but then I can use the same needle size as like basically everyone else for knitting socks. So I don't know what's going on there. Something's going on weird, but we'll see. Anyways. I got gauge, I blocked my swatch, got gauge perfectly. So we're, we're moving along. I'm knitting a size four for this. It's the size four. I was kind of in between sizes for this garment for like recommended ease. Um, but I decided to go a little bit bigger just because I wanted something like huge and squishy and cozy. Well, not huge, but very large and squishy and cozy that I could just like throw on when I was feeling chilly. So that's what I'm doing for that. Um, so I think I'm gonna have, let's see, I'm trying not to give away my pattern information here. So knitting a size four is going to give me a finished bust circumference of 50 and a half inches or so. Um, and what does it say for ease? Oh, here we go. Choosing size 
So it calls for about nine and a half to ten and a half inches of ease. And I have about a 38 inch bust. So yeah, like I said, I'm a couple inches above what my ease should be, but I think it'll be just fine. I'm really excited, like I said, to have something big and cozy that I can just throw on and like cuddle up in. So that's my lakes pullover. Now let's, can you hear that? That's my dishwasher. Uh, I wish my washer and dryer made a similar sound because they are like really old and they just make angry screamy noises when they're done. So, but the dishwasher is quite pleasant. Um, so the next thing that I've been working quite a bit on, I don't think I have very much done last time. Also, I put lip gloss on. Why did I do that? Everything's sticking to it, especially now that I'm going to pull this out because I'm using Surrey for this. Um, so this bag here is from Birch Grove. And this is my dad's sweater. I'm testing this for Emily Curtis. This is due at the end of this month, so it should be coming out beginning of November. And here's the yarn I am using. So the Surrey, this here is Birch Surrey. So this is from my shop, Birch and Lily Fiber Co. Um, Birch Surrey, and this colorway is Heirloom. And then I'm holding it double with Birch Sock in the colorway Black Current. So, looking and it's so squishy and soft but like not too thick I don't know it's still drapey that's what I'm looking for drapey so last time I was working on the back of the body and I don't even think I connected the fronts so like my progress keeper is sitting here on the back so now the whole body is done and I am working on a sleeve as you can see so look how cool this looks marled together. It's just so pretty and so different and I just love it. I, I mentioned holding these two together as a whim on the podcast. I was like, oh, that might be neat. And now that I'm doing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, yes. This is, this is everything. This is perfect. Um, it's blowing out. Oh, okay. I don't think I hit my mic. <laughs> it's blowing out a little bit. Let's see if I hold it. No, it's blowing out a little bit, but it's just so pretty. I'm so excited to photograph this one and like fully see what it's going to look like because it's adorable. So like I said, sleeve is going here. It has a very, very deep sleeve opening. It's meant to fit a lot like the sweaters your dad would wear in like the 80s or something, um, which I'm again excited about. I'm really going for like the big baggy cozy sweaters. I have a lot, oh gosh, I haven't talked about what I'm wearing. Um, I have a lot of stuff like this where like, okay, yeah, the fit's loose, but it's more, it's fancier. It's, I don't know, <laughs> um, where these are just like big cozy throw on with a pair of leggings, no thinking type garments. So I'm loving this one. So what do I have left to do? The rest of the sleeve, um, the other sleeve and the collar and I'll be done with this. Um, I am knitting on 16 inch circulars for the sleeves. I have really started to like that. I was getting tired of the magic loop. So I was like, you know what, let's just order a couple, let's just order a couple 16 inch circulars and see what happens. And I have just been loving it. And then the little dangly thing here, I think I talked about this last episode. But this is what I use to count my rows. So every time I come back around to it, I just move it one jump ring. So it's always above whatever number row I'm on. If I go like that, it should focus, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I really like that tool. I got those from Toy Sheared Sheep. I'll have it linked down below in the description. Um, but otherwise, Nothing crazy. I'm knitting a size three, I think. Yes. Size three. Um, again, with my 38 inch bust, I guess I can look up what the ease is and stuff for this one. I've really liked printing out my patterns lately too. Um, I think it has something to do with me testing because I can like make notes on it and then talk about it in whatever, whatever channel I contact the designer with. Every test is a little bit different. Um, but it's been easy for me that way to tell them stuff I find. So I really liked printing them out. So let's see, uh, finished garment, 
for a size three is going to be about 43 and a half inches. Um, and it calls for six to nine inches of positive ease. So I'm sitting about a little bit less on this one actually, but the next size up would have been like way, way too big. So that is what I went with. I seem to be in between a lot of sizes apparently. Um, oh, I'm eating the Surrey. I love Surrey. Surrey has been one of my favorite things lately because it's just so soft. And I think I've mentioned plenty of times, but if you don't know, I'm allergic to mohair, so I can't use mohair, but Surrey, I am not allergic to. So it's been really nice to hold this double. I don't think anyone else is holding Surrey double with theirs. This pattern also calls for a worsted weight, but like a lighter worsted weight. And so I was able to get Gage holding the sock and the Surrey together. So yeah. So let me move my progress keeper because I'm going to be better at doing that now. <laughs> um, granted, I've been knocking stuff out exceptionally quickly. I don't know how. So then by the time I come back, who knows, this sweater might be done. Two weeks. Two weeks is a lot of time when you think about it. Um, and when you're like me and you carry your knitting with you everywhere. So that is my dad's sweater by Emily Curtis. This one's always fun to pack away because I have basically four skeins going at once because I'm alternating skeins, but then because I'm holding double, I'm alternating two skeins at a time. How can I describe that? Anyways, so I'm holding double, so each strand splits into two strands, so there's four cakes. There are four cakes that I'm dealing with. Anyways, can become quite tangly, especially if you're me who sometimes just keeps knitting in circles and not paying attention, and then you have a tangly, disastrous mess. I'm very good at that, so. What I'm wearing, I forgot to talk about that. This, I, I can't remember when I finished this. I think it was this year sometime. Um, but this is my, ooh, my Nordiska. I'll stand up. So it's a little cropped sweater with shortened sleeves. This pattern's from Caitlin Hunter, um, and I think the yarn I used, I think the yarn I used is all from Magpie Fibers. I believe I had a kit. This was a really, really fun knit. I don't know if you can see, it's got the cables on the raglan, and the color work was fantastic. And because it's cropped, like I had the stockinette, and that took a little while, but the moment I hit the color work, I just, it flew. So I love this. I haven't worn it in a while, so I thought I would pull it out today. I love the crop sleeves. I tend to be the type of person who, if I'm not sitting around and just wanting to be cozy, I shove my sleeves up a lot. So the fact that they're cropped is really nice. Um, where if I'm just sitting and being cozy, I don't care how long they are because I'm probably pulling the sleeves over my hands. So this is kind of a nice out and doing things. You want to look cute sweater, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I have two more things to talk about. These are both uh, Lindsay Fowler patterns. So the first one here, this is not a sweater. Um, this bag is also from Birch Grove though. I am knitting Lindsay Fowler's Held Together hat pattern. And I'm making this for my husband. He said this year he has plenty of socks and he wanted a hat this year. So that is what I'm knitting him. So I'm using yarn. This is from a retired dyer unfortunately, um, but their brand was called Haven Fiber Arts, and this colorway is called October. And if you can see how stuff is dangling here, I'm holding this double. And then my two contrast colors, I just pulled these from um, my scraps, but those are the two contrast colors that I used. So a white natural color with little black tweed bits, and then just a black that I found a kick in in my scrap bin. So yeah, I'm knitting the largest size for this. It looks quite, uh, put this in the bag so it doesn't roll away. It looks quite small, but because of the ribbing, it's super duper stretchy. So I'm about halfway through the hat, I think. Um, the way it's worked, this bottom here will be folded up. So it'll sit like that eventually, as opposed to just flat, it'll be doubled. Um, which should make for a really nice warm hat. And I think holding uh, the fingering weight double will also help make it warm as well. Um, but the reason this looks so cool and marled where those stripes are is because instead of continuing to hold this double all the way through, 
you drop the one strand and pull in one of your contrasting colors to make that stripe all marled, which I think is pretty neat. And I'm also excited because this should use up this whole skein of October. Um, so that clears something out of my stash because, yeah, you can see in this, um, that whole shelf over there, well, over here too, but these I consider more like, first of all, sock knitting skeins. And then also a lot of them are skeins that I would love to use in a garment. Like they're, they're colors I would wear. Where these skeins <laughs> over here are all like, a lot of the stuff I purchased when I first started knitting and I was just buying crazy, colorful, fun skeins because they're beautiful, but I had no idea what I was gonna do with them. So I'm trying to use them up. So this hat is the start of that. I had purchased this with my husband in mind years ago, I think when we were dating even. Um, so I'm glad I can use that up and make a hat for him. And then I also really want to make, I think it's called the Harlow hat by Andrea Mowry. Um, it's a really pretty brioche hat, so I would be able to use a lot of yarn up in that as well because there's two skeins and it's reversible, which is also fun. So I'm thinking I want to knit that up for my mom and my sister and maybe a couple other ones depending on how much time I have because <laughs> I'm starting to realize I'm hitting the Christmas crunch and I haven't really done a lot of Christmas knitting yet. So yeah, my goal is to try and use a lot of those skeins up within the next year or so. Okay, so held together hat. I think I said I'm knitting the largest size for that. And yeah, final project I have here is another new cast on, which really does not have that much done. So it should be <laughs> quick to talk about. This bag here is from Brooklyn Haberdashery. Oh dear, it's smushed. Anyways, I love this bag. Um, and I am testing the hot dish cardigan pattern for Lindsay Fowler. Um, it's actually worked kind of similarly to the held together hat. It has the same sort of stripes and the marling thing going on. So I am holding yarn double for this, two fingering weight skeins. I'm knitting the size seven. I think this is made to have like child through adult sizes, just based off the fact that I'm knitting a size seven, because I don't think I've ever knit a size seven before. I'm usually in the like the two to four range. Actually, let me look. Yeah, it has to have child sizes because the smallest body circumference on here is a 26.5 inch. So, teen to childish, maybe it starts at. Um, but I dyed up a new colorway for this because I knew I wanted something a little bit more neutral gray blue. So this doesn't have a name yet. Um, but like I said, I'm holding this double and here is this new color that I have not named. I was kind of thinking smoke or something like that. Anyways, um, I'm holding this double and I have not picked my contrast colors yet because I'm not gonna need them for a while, so I haven't. <laughs> like I said, I have nothing done on this. I literally just pulled it out and got it started this morning because I finally had my gauge swatch, but this is, I think this is the top of it. So I'm working kind of like the back. This is a cardigan and this is the first cardigan I've ever knit and I, I'm not scared, but I just know I don't love purling, but I love wearing a cardigan. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to make myself do it. Um, so like I said, nothing done on this sucker, barely anything. Um, but again, another situation of me having to drop needles like crazy. Uh, this pattern calls for, let's see, a US 7. I don't know what that is in millimeters. I'm sorry. Um, but I had to drop all the way down to a US 2. I don't know. I, I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. Um, so that makes for some fun. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to do the ribbing on, I think, like a 2.5 to a 2.25 millimeter, which just seems so wrong especially because like I said, I can knit socks and get the correct gauge on a 2.25 millimeter needle. I guess this is yarn held double, so that's making a bit of a difference, but dang, I knit loose. I don't know. It's It's been very eye-opening to me. Also eye-opening in the fact that when I first started knitting and nothing fit properly, it's probably because I was using the needles called for and I was not matching gauge in the slightest. So lessons learned. 
what am I gonna do? <laughs> Anyways, that's that's all I have to show you this episode. I hope I didn't ramble too quickly through it. I feel like I didn't have tons to show because a lot of stuff is like new starts. So hopefully next episode we'll have a lot of a lot of stuff to show, a lot of fun things. Um, yeah, I, I really don't have much to say. Um, if you liked what you saw today, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up so you can keep up with what is going on the channel. It really helps me out a lot and it helps with the algorithm. And check out the website, see what's going on with that 25% off sale. Like I said, I think I'll keep that going for about a week. Um, or just check out the website to see what's new. My husband says it looks no different. I think it looks different, but you can judge for yourself. Anyways, um, I won't ramble on too long. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again in two weeks. Bye.